Thank you very much. Now, of course, the research that we do, we all find extremely interesting and extremely important. And it would also be nice if other people find our research interesting and important. And this is why, of course, you would like to draw attention to your work. And what is more beautiful than, for instance, be interviewed on television or on the radio or in the papers or, or in, in social media to tell about your work. But how do you attract attention? I know nowadays you just Twitter something and then everybody will see it. But in my days, these things didn't exist. And what you wanted was to get into the newspaper or on television or whatever. Now, let me first tell you how it started. I'll tell you what happened and what I learned from it, because I overdid it, clearly. Um, it was in, in, in 1995 that I became a professor of water resources management at the IHE, the International Institute for, uh, for Water Research in Delft. And I had a nice inaugural address. And, I, and it was about floods and things like that. And I thought, that, this is nice because a couple of years before, we had had an unexpected big flood in one of the Dutch rivers. And in my inaugural address, I was speaking about this and saying what, in my view, went wrong what the Netherlands had done, done wrong in preparing themselves for such floods. And in fact, I was implying that in Africa, where I had worked for a long time, we were doing these things better. So I had sent that little booklet uh, of my, uh, my inaugural to the press with a nice letter and never heard anything. But what happened? All of a sudden, there was again a flood. And somebody saw this thing on, on her desk and thought, well, why, why shouldn't I phone this guy? Because he is quite critical and uh, maybe that's interesting. So I was happy and I was phoned by uh, this uh, interviewer. And of course, when, you're, when you speak on the phone, I was very enthusiastic. You, uh, you, you know how I talk. I don't think twice before I say something. And, uh, and you, want, you want to really draw the attention. So I must probably have talked a little bit too enthusiastically. The next day, in the news, it was first on the radio. It says, Delft professor criticizes uh, the Dutch waterman sincerely. And then there was this paper. It's all, of course, um, on, on the floods. Ah, it was at, uh, this pointer never works nicely. It's all about the floods, about people here. You see, uh, it's all dramatic. And then here was my interview on the front page. And I enlarge it. Of course, it's Dutch, but what these things say is that Dutch people don't understand their rivers anymore. They just build houses in the floodplains, and our, uh, uh, our ministry doesn't understand it. They don't even understand their own rivers. Uh, for them, the, the, the river starts at the border, these kind of things I said. I came to the office and I thought that everybody would be happy because I was in the news. I got. I got overwhelmed. It was as if all hell broke loose. <laughs> because, because the head of the water department had phoned my boss, the rector of the university, and I should rectify, and otherwise he should sack me, and there was a lot of pressure on me. Um, but at the same time, the telephone kept ringing for interviews on the TV, on the radio, uh, newspaper articles, it was, and it was big news because there were floods. So I had really overdone it. If there hadn't been any flood, I probably would not have overdone it. But because there was, again, a flood, it was really... I was in the news for more than a week. Now, and then at some stage I said, let's stop it, because I don't make myself more popular by doing this. Now, <clears throat> what I learned from it, it wasn't that bad, because news, uh, after a couple of weeks, people just, as we say, they uh, package the fish in, in the paper that caused so much turmoil, and it's over. But I think interview tele telephone interviews or oral interviews are risky because they take notes of what you say, they make a nice article out of it, and you never know if they cite you properly or in a balanced way. So be a little bit cautious with telephone interviews, and if you give it, you must request that you see the written part before they publish it. That is the essential thing. And you, you don't say because you don't trust them, but then you can help them make it at least correct. So this is really important. And also, yeah, don't overdo it, because the interviewer wants a scoop. 
So if you say something that sounds like a scoop, they are even likely to overdo it. And to be hasty is just double risky now, because it is topical and, and everybody's in a hurry. And what you have no control over is the headline. What that headline, the, the person makes just uh, 10 minutes before it goes to the press. So there it said, the Netherlands does not understand its own rivers implying that our ministry was at, completely at a loss. So be cautious. But what are the advantages? There are great advantages. Yeah. Even if the interview caused a lot of uh, havoc and aggression from people and a lot of jealousy from peers because you don't understand how people react. Most people are very negative because they think, yeah, well, why are you there? I know more about floods than you, so why are you on the news all the time? You know? This is what you have. But your work is in the picture. Yeah? You can very easily be invited for uh, more substantial outings. Uh, so in this case, the, the ministry wanted me to rectify. I said, I'm not going to rectify, but I'm quite willing to write substantial articles where I explain exactly what it is all about. And that's what I did. So the next day or two days later, this big article, yeah, this is not my photograph, but it's a big article, came in one paper, and the next one came in another paper. These are the quality journals in the Netherlands. You see a full page article in the press. So that was the spin off. So, um, final remarks. Don't overdo it, but feed them with understandable and attractive information, of course. But don't overdo it. Don't claim more or don't make it more dramatic than it already is because it can backfire. And be aware that a very topical event may give your uh, work additional exposure. But I cannot tell you what to do because every situation is different. But um, yeah, and after that, uh, the such things have happened again and I've made mistakes again. So it's not that, uh, that after this you know exactly what to do. Thank you very much. Thank you.